This is Shane with Ocean Drum Incorporated. This tutorial will teach you to use Xcode Storyboard to develop a Core Data iOS application. Okay, now let's go ahead and implement the uh, truck table so that you can visibly see that there is um, information in the database and we can um, uh, see it within a, a table view. So. Um, again, with our uh, implementation file, we're going to need um, some variables from our app delegate. So just like we did before in the add truck view, we're going to copy um, these properties into from the header file of the app delegate into the header file of the table view controller. And we're also going to need a an array uh, to populate our uh, uh, table. So that's non-atomic strong NS mutable array star um, trucks array. Okay. Then we'll go over. Now we need to synthesize all these variables. We'll go over to the app delegate implementation file, copy this synth uh, synthesize um, property line, go into the impl implementation of our truck table array, paste those in, and don't forget to also synthesize the um, trucks array. So that gives us our uh, setters and, and getters um, for that array. All right. Um, be mindful that it was important to import the app delegate into the implementation file as, rel as well as the um, truck setter file. Okay, so we've made use of that. Now in our view, view did load section, I'm going to uh, paste some information into here and then I'll uh, explain what we're looking at. Let's need to grab it. Okay. So in our view did load, this should look familiar to you. Um, this is our app. Uh, we need the app delegate again, shared and it's a um, UI application, shared application delegate. It's exactly like we did in the add truck view controller implementation file. Remember all the magic happens with our managed object context so we need to get a handle of that which we have. Now this is a, a little bit new so this is how you're going to grab the data. So in its fetch request um, I'm going to point you to the Apple documentation so you can uh, read up on what's actually happening here. Uh, NS entity description, so we need to describe uh, the entity, which is our trucks that we're going for. Entity name, manage object context, remember the underscore. Alright, so this all should look familiar. We're going to set the request to the trucks that we just created. In a sort descriptor, that is going to organize um, the data that we re requested. So we're going to key off of miles per gallon and we'll go in ascending order. We create an array of the sort descriptors and we insert it with objects sort descriptor. That's what we just created up there. So be mindful that this one does not have an S, this one does have an S. So that's kind of how you um, distinguish between the two. Request sort descriptors, sort descriptors. That's the method. Um, we're clearing out our error log. NS mutable array, mutable fetch request. So this is our, our chunk of, of data that we um, brought back. And this line 
set trucks array mutable fetch request. So uh, we're populating our trucks array with the array of uh, data that we just uh, retrieved. And then this is just some error logging that I put in here. All right. So now uh, we're into the uh, table section. And this should be familiar with you a, a little bit. OK, um, let's go ahead and for configure the table portion of this now. So what we want to do is replace the um, return one uh, row in each section with the actual array count. So that's going to be our trucks array count. OK. Now here we're in the cell for row at index path. And what we want to do is create a, um, a truck to put into the array. So we'll call it star trucks equals, and we're going to cast the array, which will be our trucks array object at index path, index path dot row. Right, and then we want to use that here. So that's going to be our um, trucks that we got, and it's going to be the make. And this is coming directly from the uh, core data, All right? And then we're going to set the detail text label dot text to our trucks miles per gallon and that's going to uh, because it's returning a number we need to return a string so it's going to be string value All right. let's get rid of that we still haven't implemented the image but let's go ahead and run it and so that way you can see that the data is coming from core data uh, and is being populated into the table view controller. So what's cool about this, uh, again, what frustrated me a lot about going through all these tutorials, nothing was really centralized. Uh, let's put in uh, about Range Rover. Range Rover, and it gets, um, we'll say, one mile per gallon. Add truck. So it went in. We saw our SQL update. Let's check out our truck detail. I don't know why it's going over so slow. That was weird. But let's see if we can find. There's our Range Rover right there. All right, so we have a lot of, we've been entering in a lot of, uh, data so let's tr why is that running so slow ah. um, let's see about fast fast mile fast fast truck and we'll say it gets a thousand miles per gallon a truck truck detail That should be at the bottom because it's in sending order. So, as you can see, the data is being uh, stored in core data, and we're passing it from one view controller to the next. To the next. Now, the other thing that's good about this is that it maintains the state. So we'll get out of the um, simulator altogether. Let's run it again, and you'll see that. Uh, core data did in fact save all that information. There's the Range Rover, there's a fast track. It saved all that information so it maintains state. Alright, so the, um, in the next uh, tutorial I'll go ahead and show you how to implement the um, these other methods so you, that you can delete um, rows from the table. Most of that is covered in the app documentation, but since you guys have been uh, 
really supportive and keep hitting that like button and subscribe button. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in the next video.